Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop, back with another instrument review for you. Very often on the channel, I talk about a lot of the really cool, professional, custom level instruments that we have coming through the shop. But of course, we deal with a whole wide range of different levels of instruments from you know student level, intermediate, professional, custom. And today, I've got a really great intermediate level instrument in the shop, specifically the Eastman ETB 428 M. So the 428 is the successor to the 430, um, which had been a, a go-to kind of entry-level intermediate instrument for Eastman. They made a few tweaks, renamed it the 428. Um, and we've had the large board version in the shop before, but I've not had the M, the medium board version. Um, obviously, it's going to have some you know, a little bit different playing, you know, air usage aspects to it that I thought would be really interesting to explore. So I'm going to take a play on it so that you can hear it in action a little bit, and then I'm going to talk about the experience afterward. I'm going to be playing all of this today on my trusty Bach 7C. <laughs> One of the things I talk about with a lot of our clients are the different levels of trombones that we have in the shop and what they're used for, where they're appropriate, from student to intermediate to professional to custom. For a lot of folks, they you know there's certainly a price difference as we move through those different levels, and that's understandable. But what I think a lot of people don't realize is that these different levels of instruments are, in a lot of cases, really designed with different players in mind who have different needs. Our student level instruments instruments are designed to play well for young beginners. They're built more durably. There's other things in their features that make them really appropriate for a young player getting started. And then very often, again, we have that next step, that intermediate level instrument, which in a lot of cases, yes, it is going to be a little more affordable option to move into that next level instrument without getting into the professional, etc. But a lot of times there are aspects in the design that, again, are designed with that growing player in mind as well. And I think the 428M is a great example of that. So um, the 428M here um, has a lot of the features that we see from you know some of the other Eastman offerings here. It has an eight and a half inch uh, gold brass bell, yellow brass tuning slide, open wrap uh, here, which is interesting. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, nickel silver outer hand slide with yellow brass crook. Um, this is something we see very often with intermediate level instruments. Um, and we're starting to see it a little bit actually in student level instruments. And we'll talk about again why that is. There's some durability, playability stuff with it. And of course, this is a medium bar, 525 bore versus their large bore version that they also have as well. Very often when I have folks in the shop, 
And we're looking for that in that next level, you know, tenor trombone, give them versatility or something that's more classically oriented, etc. Very often we end up looking more at the large bore tenors. There are so many different large bore tenor options on the market right now that a lot of times I can find, help them find the right large bore that tends to fit them better than, you know, a, a medium bore will. However, there are certainly instances when the medium bore instrument can be a right, the right fit, um, whether it is for an older player who uh, maybe just finds a large bore tenor to be too much work, somebody who is looking for something for some versatility. I certainly know some pit orchestra players who use medium bores to let them kind of straddle the line between you know, the, the small bore work, large bore work. Um, but one area, and I think this is really where the 428M is designed, is for that young growing player who is, they're ready to move up into a next level instrument, but they're maybe just not physically ready for a large bore tenor trombone. Um, again, I think this does a really, really nice job of that. And I, I see this in a lot of cases, um, if we have a, a very, very motivated, even sixth grader or seventh grader, a lot of these folks, again, just physically, they may not have the lung capacity to fill up a large bore tenor, but something like this can be a really, really great match for them. What I found in playing here is first off, I had to change my air approach with it. And it took me a little bit to figure out exactly what kind of air I had to use. Interestingly for me, I almost had to approach it a little bit like I approach alto trombone, where I'm really slowing down the airflow. I'm trying to keep it a little bit lighter, a little bit more compact. But again, that's because I'm used to approaching with a large bore airflow. Where I find, again, the medium bore, where I think that's really gonna be a great fit, is for a, a younger player or somebody who just doesn't, either wants to have, you know, um, doesn't want to use as much lung capacity, or they they want something that's more efficient. I mean, there's certainly something to that where you certainly have a, a segment of player who they don't want to be dumping a ton of air into the horn. They want to, you know, they want to use a lesser amount and they want the instrument just to respond right away. You know, a medium bore can be a really great fit. And I, I think this could be among them. What I found with this is like the other Eastman's, um, I thought, you know, very, very even playing. Um, you know, I like, I thought, again, especially with that, I'm trying to approach it the right way with the right kind of air, I thought it had a really nice full sound. I felt like I had really good access through the ranges. Um, for me, the lower range, especially getting into the trigger range, was a little bit interesting. And I attribute that to a couple of things. First off, Again, smaller, you know, small shank mouthpiece. Um, I don't do a lot of work in the trigger register on this size mouthpiece. That may have a little bit of an impact, but that medium bore is going to change how things respond there down there a little bit. And that's where I do think the open wrap does come in handy a little bit. Um, with the way that I'm feeling, you know, a little bit of the resistance to push already in on the trigger, if we threw a closed wrap in on that, I feel like that'd be a little bit too much. And, and by the way, for this kind of this entry level intermediate instrument, there are certainly instances, uh, Yamaha and Getson in Eastman, they certainly have options um, that are closed wrap. Um, and again, I think especially on a larger instrument that closed wrap can help a younger player or frankly, just a certain segment of player get that immediacy that they want to have in the trigger register or just on the trigger in general. But with the way this instrument plays with the medium bore, I do wonder if maybe that would be just a little bit too too much resistance. But again, that's exceptionally player dependent. Whenever it comes to you know, bore size concept or just airflow concepts in general, I, I tend to talk about, well, here's what it might do, but it can be so player specific. So this is just one person's take on it. But again, when I found the right approach, I thought it was very responsive. I felt like I had a really nice control. I had some nice color to it. I think I, for a lot of younger players, they tend to have fairly bright sounds, not always, but often. And so a lot of times the gold brass bells tend to be a really great moderator for them, Hem tend to balance out some of the, the inherent brightness that they have and give them a little bit more of that breadth of sound and frankly, a little bit easier response as well. So there's a lot of really nice things happening with this instrument. And of course it has the Eastman quality a build, uh, which we continue to be really, really impressed with. And so I'm glad we have this in the shop. I think, again, really nice option for a, you know, a certain segment of player. And, and again, especially something at a very approachable price point for that player where it's the right fit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts about what you heard, any comments, maybe you've had a chance to experience this, experience this instrument or other medium bore instruments, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel, becoming a part of our community here, which I really, really appreciate. So, and of course, as always, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. As always, thank you for watching.
Thank you.